Hi guys, it's Jazzy Ray here and I'm back for another reading. Um, so today I'm reading for Brandel. I hope I said your name correctly. <laughs> but um, I'm reading for her. I recently did her boyfriends. Um, so she hit me up like, hey, you read my boyfriend so well. Like you had him down to a T. So can you do my reading? And I'm gonna do your reading. Now, I did start charging for readings, but because I did your boyfriends for free, I'm gonna I'm gonna hook you up for free. I'm about to do you like that. You know, so, but if you guys want a couple reading, couples reading, either we can negotiate prices or you can go ahead and pay $40, but we can, we can negotiate, you know, I might, I might lower it down for you guys because technically I already did both of your readings. So I might just charge you guys maybe $20, you know, if you guys want to know if you guys are compatible, really compatible or not. So just let me know if you want me to do that. We we'll negotiate if that's what y'all want. But anyway, let me show you your chart. So, this is your chart. Right here. So, your sun is Pisces. Your moon is Libra. Your Mercury is Aquarius. Your Venus is also Pisces. Your Mars is Taurus. And your Ascendant is Virgo. Which we have that in common. <laughs> we have our Mars and our Ascendant is the same. And then if you look over here... Your masculine, your feminine, your masculine is six, and your feminine, your feminine is four, which is the same as Derek's. So, this is why I really want to do that couples, that couple compatibility compatibility chart for y'all because I want to see if y'all are really compatible or not because this is similar. Like this is not, not even similar. This is exactly the same. But I'm going to break it down for you, okay? And then if you want the couple's reading, just let me know. Um, so let's start with your sun sign. So your sun sign is who you are. It's your personality. And you are a Pisces. I, I know a lot of Pisces. <laughs> I actually like Pisces. Pisces are really cool. So, um, it's feminine sign. You know it's water. It's a water sign. I, I think you know that. Um... Now, it has a mutable quality, which just means that you're able to adapt to things and, you know, you're able, it's kind of hard to keep up with a sign that has mutable quality. And quali when signs that have mutable quality is um, Gemini, Pisces, Virgo, and Sagittarius. Yeah. So, it's kind of hard to keep up, you know, but you're able to adapt very easily with no, no, it's just, it comes natural for you. You kind of just go with the flow. And that's how Pisces are anyway. They just go with the flow. Um, what else did I write down? Its planet, its ruler is Neptune, which is this planet of, the planet of fantasies and mystery and all that, all that jazz. <laughs> just magical. Um and it's opposite polar opposite is virgo now they say you're supposed to marry oops uh -uh. okay they say you're supposed to marry your polar opposite i don't know how true that is i don't think it's true because my polar opposite is sagittarius and we don't get along <laughs> we don't get along so i don't know how true that is however if you wanted to know if you, i'll give you one one free free hint or whatever um, you and Derek, according to um, astrology, you and Derek are compatible as far as like your sun sign because he's a Capricorn, you're a Pisces. They they kind they kind of work out, but just if you want that if you want that that reading, I really want to do it for you guys. I might just give it to y'all in the house. Like let me know because I I I, I could break this down for you guys. Um, but anyway, let's get on the Pisces. So Pisces, Pisces is the plant is the sign of. They're really good people. Before I really get into like the negatives about Pisces, they're really great people. They love. They are just they they they're sensitive people. They're they're like really spiritual. Like they're like Pisces is close. It's just the closest sign to the spiritual realm. So naturally, spirituality it, it's, it's it's natural. Um, Pisces are cool until you cross them. Like if you cross them, like one negative thing about Pisces is they they're called the crybabies of Pisces and Cancers are called the crybabies of the zodiac but here's the thing though Pisces ain't no punk out here though like Pisces is a type of sign that will cuss you out while crying Pisces is a type of sign that will come at you with a knife while crying like they don't play they they don't 
they different and they're very intuitive so your type your i can probably tell that you're the part you're the type of person if you feel like something's not right you're backing away from the situation you if, if you if, let's say you and derek about to go out and you just feel like something about the energy just ain't right you'll tell derek like i'm not going anywhere i don't even want i don't even feel comfortable with you going out like and he like why babe why why, why you don't want to go out i don't just, something ain't right something's not right that's your into that's pisces intuition and pisces intuition is always correct always correct they're closer to the spiritual realm so of course it's going to be correct um pisces you have to be careful because pisces have a tendency to not see the reality of the situation um it's not like capricorn capricorn can see the reality of some, of some shit pisces sometimes cannot so if you can control that that would be great if you could control that like if you have that under control then good for you because that is that pisces has sometimes has a tendency because my bet one of my best friends is a pisces and she literally was just like she was talking about a situation with her neighbors and she was like what if my boyfriend is cheating on me and doing this and i'm like you know your boyfriend ain't doing that i think he worried about if you gonna cheat on him like <laughs> But see, Pisces will believe things that's not true. So it's just like they have a tendency to believe in a fantasy, good or bad. So you have to be careful. Pisces, it could be that intuition thing that makes them believe that. I don't know. It's like sometimes, the, it's like the intuition is mostly, is correct. But at the same time, they do tend to believe in a fantasy sometimes. And I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> So I I know I said in the beginning like like you know Pisces intuition is strong and it is and they are correct most of the times but sometimes Pisces intuitions can be off and they'll believe some that's not true. Also sometimes Pisces, you know what, I'll get into it when I talk about your Venus because that fantasy can get you in that fancy like that fancy thinking la la land that can get you in trouble <laughs> that can get you in trouble so sometimes you gotta be careful with that intuition because sometimes it can be too strong and it, it can be right but sometimes mo sometimes it could be wrong but rarely is it wrong rarely because pisces y'all know everything i don't know everything i don't seem to be right about everything <laughs> so your moon is libra moon is your emotions so how you express your emotions so libra is masculine it is an air sign and it has a cardinal quality now cardinal signs with cardinal quality is capricorn libra cancer and aries i have to remember so that just means you putting in work you putting in work hard work you don't play around when it comes to hard work so when it comes to your emotions you're not playing around okay uh let's see what else did i write down um it's planet it's ruled by venus and it's polar opposite is aries so um libras for the most part are balanced they're balanced people they have the scales but sometimes the scales can tip over libras are sensuous people out the air signs they're very sensuous um, they love love very charming they are able to see both sides of a situation so when it comes to your emotions you kind of have a good understanding of your emotions like you know like you're not afraid to admit when you're wrong but you're not also afraid to admit when you're right you can't be a bit too sensitive though because I've talked to a Libra before and he was oh my god I <laughs> I had to watch my word my words with him because the thing is is like Libra they're charmers. So they say everything that Libra says it sounds so good and so sweet. So I bet you with Derek you probably can get what you want out of him if you say the right things. You can probably get what you want. <laughs> yeah, you can probably get what you want, you know. But sometimes I think Derek's moon sign was leo i think his moon was leo so see you gotta be careful with that see you know what i'm gonna just say this sometimes when people say things to you you may be like wow you didn't have to say it like that like wow 
You could have just said it this way. You didn't have to be so like with Libra. Like when your moon is Libra, like people have to watch what they say to you because it it it, it might make you feel like wow, like you saying I'm not good enough or you just you just came for me. Like you just threw shade at me and you didn't even have to do that. You could have just said this. You could have said it this way. You could have said it that way. It's not Libra is a type of science. Like it's not what you say is how you say it. Okay, because Libras charmers. You can probably get you can probably get out a lot of stuff. <laughs> So, but when it comes to your emotions, you tend to un have a good understanding. And when when the scales are tipping in your emotions, I have to do that. that I have to do it. But um, <laughs> I gotta do the, this. The scales tipping. But sometimes when they tip, it's like you know how to make them balance again. You know how to do it. So, but you tell Derek to watch his words because he he may hurt your feelings. And Leo has a tendency to hurt people's feelings. So, you tell him to watch his words. <laughs> okay so your mercury is aquarius aquarius is also an air sign it's masculine um it's a fixed has a fixed quality so your conversations you you, you know what you stand for and ain't no ain't no going back you know what you stand for um it's opposite is leo and um it's planet is uranus it's funny <laughs> okay so Aquarius is, they like to talk about technology. They're into technology, they're into math. Not saying you're into math, but they're into numbers. They're into like, they're probably on their phone 24 seven. You know, they're always talking about bettering the world. And cause they're like humanitarians in a sense, like Bob Marley it was an um, Aquarius. So that kind of gives you an idea. Um, but when it comes to communication though, they love to communicate. But they can be a bit argumentative at times. And the reason why they like to argue, one, air signs as a whole, like Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, trollers. Trollers. It's, 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 not, it's just in us to be, I'm a Gemini, so it's like, it's natural for us to troll. Aquarius is like to argue, that they use arguing to troll. Gemini's throw shade. Libra, they just do shit to make people angry. <laughs> so, um... You probably like to, are not necessarily start arguments, but you like to prove how dumb people are, because that's what trolling is. You're proving how dumb somebody is, and you're making people mad on purpose because people are just stupid. So probably when somebody's arguing with you, and they have no idea what they're talking about, you probably get excited as hell. Like, I'm about to, I'm about to clock this motherfucker, because he sounds dumb as hell. <laughs> he sounds dumb. Hell, and I'm about to I'm about to clock him with my words. Yes, that. Yes, and you know what you're talking about, because Aquarius is they never talk about something they don't know. They don't know about. That's air signs in general. Like we don't talk about shit we don't know about. We're willing to sit down and get an education, but if we know about it and you don't know about it. Oh, we're gonna clock you. We're gonna clock you. It's just that you argue. I I, I throw shade. <laughs> I throw shade. I ain't got time to argue. I throw shade. So um, yeah. But that's that's Aquarius. They like to prove how dumb people are because Aquarius is supposed to be like the most intelligent out of the um, zodiac signs. So you like to have intelligent conversation. You like to talk to people who actually know what they're talking about, not people who don't know what they're talking about. Please let me do that couple's chart. <laughs> Please let me do that couple's chart. Please let me do that couple's chart, man. I gotta get you y'all permission to do it. I don't want to read for y'all, and y'all don't want me to do it. So, let me know if y'all want me to do that, cause I could break all that down for y'all. Um, your Venus is Pisces. Now, this is the part I was getting to. So, Venus is how we love and how we want to be loved and what attracts us. So, for Pisces, they like sensible people people who are not afraid to be into their emotions people who are spiritual and things like that um when it comes to love though you have to be careful because that fantasy thing like it gets you in trouble like pisces is the type of sign not saying you but pisces is the type of sign that will catch feelings because they're so deep into a like la la land that they don't see the reality of some situations like they i ain't gonna lie pisces Pisces is the type of sign that I get digmatized. I'm not even gonna lie to you, because that's like a fantasy for them. So it's like you gotta, you gotta, you gotta know when to 
shut that off and get into the reality. It's not like Capricorn. Capricorns always see the reality of the situation. Pisces, that's the only thing that may differ with you and him. That may be the only thing that differs. But, but I don't think you're like that. But most Pisces are like that. <laughs> they love love. They love love. But sometimes they, they fail to see the reality of the situation. And that's how they get in trouble sometimes. So just know that you got to stay in the moment. Because sometimes Pisces, are, you know, the problem is sometimes Pisces are going to the future. Or going to some shit that's not even real. And then, you know, um, next thing you know, you're in trouble. So just be careful of that. But I don't think you're like that, though. I think you know what you want. <laughs> um, and then your Mars is Taurus. Tor so Mars is the plan of sex. It's the plan of, of work ethic. It's the plan of aggression. And it's Taurus. So Taurus is feminine. It is a earth sign. It has a fixed quality. So when you have a fixed quality, it means you, again, you're set. You you kind of know, you know where where you want to go, and you, you it's kind of hard for you to adapt to things. It has to be something that you want to do. It's kind of hard. Not saying you can't, but it, it takes a it takes a minute. Um. So Taurus. It's planet, it's ruler, it's Venus, just like Libra. Did I mention Libra? That's, that's, that's the ruler? I don't think I did. But yeah, they got the same ruler. It's Venus, planet of love. Uh, it's opposite is Scorpio. What else can I say? I'm not, I'm looking at my notes. <laughs> See if I missed anything. No, I said everything. So, okay, so Taurus, when it comes to work ethic, they have a great work ethic. It's just that they're, they believe in patience slow you don't like to be rushed so even it doesn't matter what you are doing whether you're working you're going grocery shopping you're doing your hair your makeup picking out clothes you need to be in a peaceful environment where it allows you to be patient you can't rush the process and sometimes you know Pisces not Pisces Taurus don't, don't like to be rushed so make sure you tell him don't rush you party like don't rush me like i gotta do my makeup don't rush me you know because pisces not pisces i keep saying pisces because you're pisces okay taurus doesn't like to be rushed okay now when it comes to anger not saying taurus don't get angry because they do if on site was a sign it would be aries or taurus because <laughs> taurus taurus will fight anybody taurus is the bull okay they believe in loyalty so they if you you know you fight anybody that you loyal to, you know. You fight for people that you're loyal to, um, but it takes them a long time to react. And when they're angry, when Taurus is angry, because my Mars is Taurus, I know when I'm angry, I'll be angry for a whole week or a couple of days. It depends on how angry I am. Like I, I can't just, you know, snap back and be back in a, and be in a good mood again. It's gonna take some time, you know, that, for the anger to die down. So, probably for you, when you're angry, like a Derek or someone, you, you probably, like, don't talk to me for a couple of days because I'm angry. <laughs> so, definitely, Derek need to give you space when you're angry. Sex-wise, you have a long stamina. You have a pretty, actually, my bad, I can't remember it all, but Tauruses have a very, like, their stamina is very, very long. <laughs> They have high stamina. Um, they're attracted to senses. That's what that's what gets them. So it's like with Taurus, if you if you are a Taurus or if you have your Mars as Taurus, they're attracted to touch, um, scent, um, sight. You know, food. You, Tauruses have like that reputation of being like extreme foodies. So, yeah. You got either me. I'm about to be explicit. <laughs> but you just make sure you tell him to make sure that he is eating the right foods because he has to taste good. Because that will make you happy if he tastes good. Um, you have to taste good. You're going to make sure you taste good. 
I feel so disgusting. <laughs> But I'm serious. Or if you want to spice it up, tell him to bring food. Tell him to bring in some fruits. Um, you're, I, I look at your age. You're too young to drink. But, yeah. Make sure he has some food, whipped cream. Um, you want you want to feel good. So, it's like, make sure you have, like, some oils. Maybe tell him to give you a massage before you do it. You know? Um, make sure he smells good. Make sure you smell good because smell scent. Make sure he got like some type of cologne. Make sure you got some perfume. Make sure your hair is soft. First of all, Tauruses have like, or if you have Taurus in your chart, they have the softest skin ever. Like my mom is a Taurus, softest skin. I don't know what she does, if she does anything, because her skin is just naturally soft. <laughs> I think it's because she's a Taurus. Um, what else can I say about Taurus? This is what attracts them. Oh, and no quickies. Tauruses hate quick quickies, so you told Derek no quickies. No. And if you do get a quickie, you, you, you're gonna want more later on. Because Tauruses, you gotta keep up. Like when you have a, when your Mars is Taurus, you gotta be, he, like your partner has to be able to keep up. Because Tauruses can go for long, okay? Like Aries, if like, I don't think I think Derek's is Aquarius, so he cool. He could probably he he cool. But if he if his if his Mars was Aries, that wasn't that's not gonna work. Because Aries is quick. Aries is quick. You know? No, with Taurus you gotta do that foreplay. You gotta do the foreplay. Gotta have the music playing because sounds you know that you know, you gotta have some some, some music playing or y'all gotta sound right. <laughs> y'all the noises y'all make y'all gotta sound right you know what i mean it gotta be attractive you know what i mean <laughs> but um yeah like i hope that's not too inappropriate but yeah <laughs> tauruses are very sensual so probably so i can say doing sex you're probably not in in like you could probably be into like the freaky deaky handcuffs stuff like that but you have to work your way to that because taurus is it's fixed so it has a fixed quality so it has to be something that taurus wants to do but um not saying you can't do it you know because taurus is you know they, they could be freaky too <laughs> they could be freaky too so that's that's a gift me and you got we we, we need part we gotta have partners that can that can you know that can last for a long time <laughs> you know that that's so mean you know minute mans but I, I think Derek is a yeah, I think he cool so hopefully you know I hope that don't sound weird but you know okay but anyway on to Virgo so your ascendant is Virgo. So your ascendant is how we express ourselves, how we express our personalities. And it's Virgo. So it's feminine. It's also Earth. It's a mutable sign, which double mutable, just like me. Um, and Virgo's planet ruler is Mercury, and that's the planet of communication. And Pisces is its opposite. So this tells me that you are humble as hell. You're humble. You're a perfectionist. Um, so everything has to be right. And you're able to communicate very well. You know, you're able to be understanding. Um, that's all I can say because Virgos are just great. I love Virgos. Um, Virgos, it it it, uh, it does take them a little bit to get angry, but they don't push them. It's just like Gemini, Pisces, all the all the mutable all the mutable signs, all of them, Sag, all of them. Don't push them because <laughs> you're gonna push them to a level that you don't want them to go. Like, like you probably don't push me there. Don't push me, okay? But overall like you're able to adapt to things very easily um because it's double mutable and you're understanding you're very loving humble you know there ain't there's no faking with you there ain't no faking with you you're you real as hell you don't even have to state how real you are like you it'll show it in your actions it's virgo it's virgo so now let's get into your masculine and feminine so your masculine energy represents physical Feminine represents mental and emotional. You and Derek are the same. 
which means you're probably more physical. You probably don't mind working. You you probably can work in a job that's not as physical, but you don't. You rather work a job that's physical. Um, you don't like to sit on your ass all day. You like to be out doing things. Um, and um, it's so much I want to say, but I want to do it when I do it. If you guys want me to do the couple reading, but you probably you probably have moments when you can be a little bit aggressive a little bit a little bit a little bit with your emotions you can be passive aggressive or aggressive aggressive um and um yeah uh you have you have moments where it's like you probably don't walk away so easily because you feel like you have to say what you have to say and you have to do what you have to do but with you being pisces it's like you don't want to do that but you know <laughs> that mentioned pisces is very creative pisces are extremely creative with art so you're probably good at you know drawing or you know maybe you're good at makeup or art or music or something or maybe you love music you know so maybe you can sing you know most pisces i know or if you have pisces in your chart somewhere very creative my moon is Pisces, so, yeah. But that's it, really. So if you guys, like, you know, want that couple reading, let me know. We can negotiate. I might just give it to y'all in the house. Because I really would like to do that for y'all. I want to see how compatible y'all really are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, this was fun. I like doing I, I like doing This is so much fun. I basically just did a couple's reading. Like, this is so much fun. But, um, yeah, y'all let me know if y'all want, like, an in-depth reading to see if y'all are compatible or not um however if y'all have like specific questions i may just give it to y'all in the house we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it if that's what y'all want but um yeah make sure you subscribe try to get three, to 300 subscribers at least by the time the summer end so i'll see you i see you bye